All right, guys, welcome back. Week three, this is Classic Gaming 843. We're in the Citadel, and we've got a matchup today against Georgia Southern. I'm excited for this one. It's a home game, fortunately. Now, we, we've handled them pretty well. I was looking at the last game, and it looked like it was uh, 35 to 13, I believe, was the final score, and that was on the road. Uh, you can see they have a better offense. Their offense is a B minus, so they're much better. Um, they're, they're actually still a C plus, but I think they're, uh, they have more talent overall. I think we're, we're going to check out their roster real quick. And again, guys, if you haven't seen the first two videos and let's look they're their quarterback, we'll go over to this real quick. He's a 89, a junior retro junior, pretty solid. Uh, this guy's in the, They got an impact quarterback and running back. I got look solid too. Um, now we did go over the roster last episode um, our last video against in the end of the last game. So if you haven't, if you haven't seen the last game, I, I highly recommend watching that one. Uh, it was a very good game. <laughs> if you're here for a top 15 matchup, I mean, that one was a top 25 matchup as well. Um, and so I'm, I'm going through the playbook right now. And guys, um, if you have met, if you haven't been with us for the first two games, I'm doing voiceovers on these first four games. So I've already recorded all this. So you can see, these are some of the other scores through the SEC. I uh, just wanted to show you guys. I want to, you know, pay attention to the SEC a little more in our own conference and see what's going on. Um, Furman with a top 25 win. You can see that there. They beat Louisiana Tech. Uh, but yeah, man, we've got Georgia Southern at home. They come in number 15, and you know I, they run that triple option just like we do. Um, of course, their playbook is more standard. You know, uh, flex bone. Uh, but I mean, they, their quarterback and running back are really good. And I just, we've got to be sound on defense. We're going to be playing a lot of blitzing, a lot of man coverage. So if they do end up throwing on us, they might hit some deep passes. Uh, Robert Fox is still suspended. Our top wide receiver, our senior leader and the wide receiver group is out. Um, but that's not a huge loss. I'd rather be him than somebody like McIntyre or Marcelo Washington. 86 degrees, that sounds about right. Windy, it is a little windy though, that's good. But this is a critical game, I mean, it's a critical game because Georgia Southern, I mean, it's 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 going to be Georgia Southern, us, and Western Carolina again. Uh, at least on paper, that's what it looks like, we'll see. So, I mean, if we lose this, we'd be down a game in conference. McIntyre already first in the NCAA in yards through two games. So yeah, I mean this is a big game because if we lose this, that means Georgia Southern would have to lose twice because they would hold it. They would have they would have the tiebreaker with us. And look at Lee, Lee Corso picking Georgia Southern. Okay, I mean on paper they are the better team. They're the better roster. They've got more talent. Their quarterback is way better than us. Uh, what is it like an 87 and ours is a 72 true freshman. And this guy's a junior too. He's no he's the captain number five right there. He'll be back next season unless he goes pro, but. He's not the uh, he he, I if I remember right, I think he's five foot six, so he's not the uh, he's not exactly the, your NFL quarterback. Uh, there's guys like Josh Allen that are a, a whole foot taller than he is. So, but we're gonna kick off first, get it on defense. Look at Evans. Did you guys see that number one, our big linebacker laying laying a, a big hit already? Um, so one thing I wanted to look at was uh, I wanted to look at formation subs. I'm changing this 335 stack. Uh, I'm moving Edwards. My I control Edwards on user on user defense. I control him for every play. I'm moving him up at the top at free safety. I just feel better about myself on this against this defense uh, because we are going to be playing a lot of man coverage. Um, just because you know it's. I want to play zone, but I feel like man coverage is going to be better to stop the run. I did it a lot last year. We're going to start out with the zone, though, because they may come out throwing. I mean, they could easily do some play action on me. Uh, but we're basically just spying with Edwards. I'm watching the quarterback. It's kind of the weird delay. And look, at they get space, but we're there. I mean, we make the read, realize that's going to the running back, and get to the left side. So this game, it's going to be a fun, this is going to be a fun game to do a voiceover on because I'm going to get to see this again and see the type of offense they run, and you know it's it's there's a lot of motion going on, there's a lot of misdirection, and now we're calling a pretty aggressive blitz here. We're manualing Edwards again. We're playing deep safety, uh, or at least if they throw it, we'll go back. 
But, you know, we're here to stop the run. This is a handoff to the fullback. He gets, that fullback is good, too, man. You see how fast that guy busted through the hole? I mean, that was, what, eight yards, nine yards? So, I mean, it's going to be a tough game. Um, we've got to play good. Uh, their defense worries me a little bit because they do have talent on defense, just like Sam Houston State. They can make stops now. They're in the flex bone tight, one of the formations we love running. And this play, that play doesn't work. That play is one play that does not work. Thomas Robinson all over that. We almost hit the quarterback. We got great pressure on that one. So running, it's interesting. If you simulate a dynasty and let the team run triple option, it works really well. Like your team will get a ton of rushing yards. The quarterback, if he's a scrambler, will have a lot of rushing yards. But some plays just do not work well. Uh, when they're actually ran and they're actually going back to pass here. Look at James man. Look how quick this guy is That that play happens so quick yet. He still gets like eight yards. He gets eight yards on that little scramble. So third and six now uh, I mean two two tight ends three running backs. So they're probably in the I mean, I'm not sure which they're probably in that tight formation again There they come so th they can do anything here. They can do play action. They can still run the ball so we're committed to the run. They move Johnson into the backfield. It's a triple option up the middle. They had a hole there, but we stopped him. That was a nice tackle. I think that was Corey Cole. Yeah, Corey Cole celebrating that tackle. So we know how to stop this, guys. We, our defense, we played them. This is the third year we played them now. Wofford also runs the same offense, but they don't have a scrambling quarterback. So it's not as effective. Uh, we know how to stop this, and we're calling a little aggressive defense on the punt, seeing if we, if that guy, if Flanagan here, if he kicks it to the left side, we would have some space, and then the wind kind of blows it back to the right, so we call fair catch. Too many people running at us. But this is going to be a fun game. Number 10 versus number 15. We're going to see. It's at home, so I do feel a little better. Uh, I mean, I didn't know what to expect in the Sam Houston State game. And if you guys, again, if y'all haven't watched that one, I, I highly encourage you to go back and watch that. It was a fantastic game. So starting out, they're getting pressure. Uh, we probably, I mean, we, I mean, if I knew that was going to happen, I would have gone up the middle with Washington. But it looked like he was kind of stuffed as well. But we lost three yards on that one, so... Again, we got there's our 75% win percentage in this dynasty so far, and triple option. It's all about being patient. I mean, if we get a loss of three yards, we're gonna come right back and do the same thing. This time we get outside, and I can't pitch it. McIntyre kind of runs too far, so we're at a third and nine now. But again, guys, we've got more talent on this team. Uh, I have to fix my. I was gonna fix my formation subs here. I want to get Roberts in on this play uh, as our as our passing quarterback and i actually uh you guys are going to see me call this formation has an interesting play in it um not the one we're calling right now uh but that shotgun i forgot the name of it f trips or something i don't even remember what it's called but it's got it's got an interesting play in it you'll you'll see me run it soon i promise um it doesn't work all the time but you'll see me run it so we're trying this right off the bat we're getting washington motioned out we're going to see if he can just get open. He runs a little curl route. He's open, and look at that. He runs around the corner, or the safety. I don't even, I think that's a safety. I wasn't paying attention to what coverage they were in. Uh, they were obviously in man there, so I think that was definitely the safety. And he's just, where is he? What was he doing on that? Number 24, he, he, that, he was not even anywhere near Marcelo. That was too easy. Um, so at home, we feel good. I mean, obviously, this FCS dynasty is a little different because you don't have the crowd noise like you do. And um, we're able to – obviously, we're at home, so we're able to call this audible. You can see they're in man coverage again on the left. They get a lot of pressure this time, but we get a nice pitch. McIntyre jukes this guy. Number 24 is having a rough game so far. <laughs> McIntyre just juked him, and he, he went flying backwards. Going a little tempo here. We, we like this uh, – we like the tempo. We're gonna call the same audible again. We're actually we're we're gonna call uh, we audible this into the flex phone, and it works out because the receivers don't move, the tight end doesn't move, and all all we have to do is get under center, and the running backs go into place, and we hand it off up the middle for McIntyre. So we're we're really starting to figure out the offense this year, and you guys are gonna be able to tell. Uh, and I'm not going to give away any spoilers. Obviously, uh, I'm, I'm quite ahead in this dynasty right now. And I mean, I'm not like in the season four, obviously, but uh, you guys are going to be able to tell the offense. We, we figure some things out this season, and it's going to be fun to watch. 
Toronto. Now we're getting Marcelo involved, just trying to get to the edge, but they bring that, that linebacker's got too much speed getting inside. So no gain on that one, but now Marcelo's in the zone, so we have to keep that in mind. We're going to go with the shotgun formation. And, of course, that's only two games for the season, but Georgia Southern does have a top-10 defense so far. So we're looking at just getting Marcelo this ball. Kind of depends on... Well, it doesn't really matter when they blow up our center like that. Or I, I can't remember if that was our center or left guard. I think, yeah, 61, that's our center. So, Georgia Southern, man, they, they've got talent on defense. They have one really good defensive lineman. Um, I don't know which. I'm trying to figure out which number he is. I can't remember. They're in a weird set here. I think the, their linebackers are now. They're in the dime with the linebackers at the defensive ends. So, this is actually good for us. Uh, and they jump. I don't know if they're going to call this. We're going to throw it out to Hayes in the flat. Try to spin. And they don't call it. So they jumped there. But I guess they got back in time. Fourth and 11. Uh, I mean, we're, if it was fourth and one, maybe we'd go for it. But this is definitely too far away. We've got to punt this. We're going to try to put him in the corner here. Wind blowing. This is, we kinda, Look at this punt, man. <laughs> Look at that punt. I shanked that so bad. Did y'all see that? I tried to corner it to the right side, and I shanked it so bad that it went all the way to the opposite side of the field. <laughs> so it actually worked out okay, but that was the worst punt of my life. Uh, again, I blame that on the controller. It's not perfect. But um, Georgia Southern, again, man, they're, they're going to run the ball. Uh, I, I, will, I will be calling aggressive defense because I want to stop the run. Um, we may give up a deep pass. They they have talented receivers so, and a good quarterback. But uh, I mean, we're manning up, basically. And here they go. This is a double option play that we just ran. Ishmael Anderson, step up, man. Dylan, if you're watching, you're going to be proud of that one. Ishmael Anderson having a good sophomore season so far. Uh, I know we, we were excited about him the first season, but that was a huge loss, so like five yards on that one. We're back to third and ten. We're, calling, uh, we're moving Robinson over here for Emmanuel Spy. We're calling cover three. They may pass here. They do. They don't even do play action. And he's going to hit his running back, but that there's no way that was in bounds. We're going to get a free look at this. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't think there's any way that was in bounds. So we're going to challenge this. We're going to challenge this catch. What, I mean, I feel like we have to. Third and ten. Let's look at this again. Does he drag a foot? I mean, he's out of. He's clearly out of bounds. That that foot. I mean, he did, he drags a foot, but no. Look at that. He's clearly out of bounds. That right foot is in the middle of the white line. Thankfully, they reversed that one. So, NCA getting that one right for us, and the momentum is fine. So we end up forcing a punt here, fourth and ten, and we're playing the field position game so far, and it's working. So they're gonna punt this to Whitehead. We should get the ball right around midfield, depending on how long this punt is. And they kick it way to the left, but again, we can't. We don't have any return there, so we get it right at the 50-yard line. We moved the ball a little bit on the last drive. Let's see if we can get some points on this one. So I'm trying to find their good. I think it's the guy lined up over a right guard that's really good. Uh, his number is 55. Uh, but our right guard does a great job there. That's our true freshman right guard pushing him back. McIntyre throws a guy in the ground. And look at this, man. McIntyre just will not go down. As he's done that his whole career. And he just will not go down. I don't have any sliders turned up. Um, nothing. The only thing I did was adjust blocking. Just minor adjustments to see if it made any difference. That's the only thing I did with the sliders. Other than that, everything's on default. Uh, this is such a unique dynasty. I'm just not gonna mess with the sliders, you know, until unless it gets to the point where we need to. Uh, now we're getting Hayes involved. This time Townsend, we're just gonna keep it and pick up about nine yards. So the triple option in the flex phone is working. It's working very well. Aside from that first play of the the game where we got hit in the backfield. But we're gonna go back with Roberts on this one. And again, we have that option to audible. We can go under center. And the reason why I love these two formations is because it doesn't move the receivers if we audible into the flex bone. All you have to do is just get under center. Uh, we make a bad read there. Of course, as soon as I hand it off, our left guard gets blown up. They get the great jump. Um, so I get that was like I mean it's a last second read. I tried to I tried to let go of it. Uh, basically, all you're doing is you hold the X button to make that read. 
So if you want to hand it off, you hold the X button or the the snap button on PS on PlayStation. It's X. I don't I don't remember what it is on Xbox. Maybe A. I think. Um, but we're gonna we're trying to get their defense. Look at their defense. They're moving like we tried to switch left, and they moved left. But we try to go up the middle here again. I mean, not really a bad read. That guy just jumped the hole. So we're kind of making we're we're a little rattled trying to make the right reads here. But it's fourth and three. Marcelo's in the zone. We didn't go for it last time, but this time we're thinking about it. But I forget. And I remember we actually have a pretty good kicker. So we're gonna look and see if we can make this. 48 yard attempt. He's a five star kicker. He's got to make a 40 yard field, 48 yard field goal. It's not that long. We get fortunately we get a perfect kick, and it barely sneaks in. Just barely. I don't think that would have been good from 50. I don't know. Fortunately, we got a perfect kick, and the wind kind of took it to the left. Uh, that barely got in. That may not have been good from 50 yards. But regardless, we take the 3-0 lead heading into the end of the first quarter. You see that wind blowing. We're just going to kick it straight this time, kick it to the right. And there's their their cornerback, who we haven't uh, called his name yet. He, he was a guy that we recruited the first season. I remember going after him. Uh, I think I can't remember if it was the in-season recruit or not, but we went after that guy and he went to Georgia Southern. Uh, but so far, our defense is playing well. We have not given up many yards. Um, we got another chance here. They're on the 23-yard line under uh, under shotgun now. Uh, but they run the quarterback. Quarterback takes it out. Look at the speed by Gilmar. That was a nice speed to get over there. He's not the fastest player at all, um, but he gets over there, makes the tackle. And that was a tough one because that quarterback is quick and he can get out and make a big gain in a hurry. Yeah, man, I hope you guys are enjoying this one. I hope you all are having a great day uh, whenever, you all, whenever you guys are watching this. Um, I don't know. I don't know when this will be uploaded. Maybe April. Let me think. It would probably be like April 4th. So if you're watching on the same day, I mean, heck. <laughs> Y'all are you're keeping up with it, man. That's that's awesome. Uh, here they go with the double option. We get a hit on him, but then I think they pick this first down up. Yeah, first and ten. So again, we're calling this fire green play. Uh, it's gonna send. It's gonna basically just send an extra linebacker, uh, and then we man up everywhere else except for Edwards. I'm just doing a hot route. Look at this play, Robinson all over that. He's not having any of this triple option stuff. I mean, you got to think, man. We run this in practice. The, our guys know how to defend this triple option. Now, not to look ahead, guys, but next season, I'm really going to get back into more flex bone plays. I really want to. Um, I mean, that's the identity of the offense. I wanted to mix it up with a flex, and, a flex bone and spread combo. But I look at this, man. Look at our linebackers sitting them down. I got to pay attention to the game. Corey Cole, where did that come from? The blitzing is working. Their offensive line is just, I, they're probably young on O-line and they're just getting confused with where the blitzes are coming from. And this is perfect. We're trying our new formation here and we're basically giving them, I'm letting the, I'm making this quarterback beat us. We're, we're spying two guys. We're not rushing anybody and he gets right through the middle. Uh, I don't know who that's on. This formation's kind of new for me, the 3-3-5 stack. I mean, I don't. I think Atkins came up. Like I think he should have stayed back. I mean, it's third and sixteen. You need to stay back, and you know, stay, you're in that. You're in the short middle zone. You need to stay back though, and guard the first down line. I think. I don't think that was on me. Like I'm. I, this play, this is. I'm guarding the same. I'm middle deep with Edwards, and I have to come up and make run support here. But on that last play, I think I should have. I was fine. I don't want to give up a deep ball. You know, a thirty yard pass over the middle. I think that was on the middle linebacker playing too short, and they got the first down, and now they're back to their run game. So we're going back with a pretty heavy blitz here. Uh, they break a tackle, but we come in with Edwards to help support there. They only get, what, two yards? So third and five, this is where I want them to be. I want them to be in third and medium because I think there's a chance they'll still run the ball here, and if they do... I feel pretty good being able to stop it. We're mixing this play up. We're doing a, some hot routes. We're spying Atkins, our middle linebacker. I'm rotating over here 
I'll play run support. They end up going left. We're ready for it. Cause a fumble. But we can't pick it up, man. I dive like... I take myself out of the play trying to dive on the ball. I don't know what happened there. That's one you might have to go back and look at if you rewind 10 seconds. <laughs> he, I mean, it wasn't a forced fumble. He threw the lateral off his O-lineman, which I do that I do that almost once a game. Running triple option is very difficult. Um, and I, I, for some reason, I tried to dive on the ball, and I just ended up diving out of bounds. Uh, now they're just going up the middle. They get a good fall forward there. It's another five yards, so they're moving the ball on me. So they're, I mean, it's going to be a game. They're moving the ball. I know we can stop them. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. We're being really aggressive here. We're calling uh, middle blitz. It's going to send everybody. It's going to send all three linebackers right up the middle, and at Ro and Robinson sends him, sits him on his uh, on his back again. That was kind of a late handoff, but Robinson just sat him down. So Thomas Robinson having a game. He's the senior leader on our defense. He's the JUCO five-star recruit we got last season. He was our lone five-star uh, in our first recruiting class. And then we got, I think we got three this season. We got our kicker, our five-star kicker, our five-star corner. And I think we got a five-star lineman. They throw it up. We almost get the pick on that. We should have had it. We should have had it. That was a really, really easy pick. It was, he was just running, you know, over-the-shoulder catch almost but look at this they're gonna go for it so this is a huge play in momentum right here because if we get this stop you're, gonna, you're probably gonna see another tick up in momentum we're plus two right now but let's watch this they can they we're calling cover three they come out passing so good for us and we're there oh he's short he runs he's too short i mean i didn't really do anything i went for the bat down and took myself out of the play but fortunately he was like a half yard too short you can see that ball is like closer. It's almost closer to the 30 than it is on the 29. Uh, so we take over, going back into our triple option here. We got a little space. We're gonna pitch it out to Hayes. Stiff arms, throws that guy to the ground, gets out of bounds. So the triple option's working. We're running the ball pretty well. We haven't had an explosive play yet, but I'm okay. And now, guys, we're gonna go into the Wildcat. We're gonna try it. So this is our. Our uh, four-star athlete with 70, I can't remember his exact stats. I think he has 74 throw power and 70 accuracy. We're running option pass. We're looking, we, oh, we had we had him open, but they, they came in too quick. So that, we're still trying to work out the kinks in that play. Um, if you guys stick with the whole season, I promise you it's going to be fun. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's this guy is gonna be my. It's. I hope you you guys are excited to watch this guy, Paul Hayes. Um, I mean, he's our he's basically our third string running back uh, because we you know we have McIntyre and Washington both with impact impact dots. Uh, but Paul Hayes, number three, maybe the most exciting and most versatile player on our offense. It's gonna be fun. Um, but we're just trying to. We're. I mean, this is too close of a game. This is too important of a game to be practicing plays right now. So. We're going to go with this double option out of the start, but we're going to actually audible here. You see me pull up the audible screen. We don't like the defense. We think we can actually get this up the middle. You see how far their defensive line is spread out. They actually counter. They counter to our audible. So we're trying to recall what we just had. And we're going to see if we can get this to work. Uh, I don't know how that worked. That was a weird one. Washington just jukes the guy out of his shoes. We got a break there because that, e that can easily be a fumble. Uh, somehow Roberts threw that pitch out there, so I think I I kind of feel like we kind of break on that one, but I'm okay with it because if you saw if you guys saw how the last game ended, or at least part of the last game, I mean the last two we forced some fumbles in the last two games now. I forgot it happened in this one and they, we just couldn't fall on the ball. Now we're going PA Reed. We're going with the spread here. We got Hayes in the backfield, so we're gonna actually look at Parrish. They blow the coverage. Parrish is wide open. What is Reed doing? 24 having a rough game, man. I wonder if y'all saw that one. Did y'all see that one? We were about to take off running, and I saw it last minute. I remember that play. They busted the coverage bad on that one. The safety, I don't I don't know if that's their safety that was supposed to be deep, and he wasn't even anywhere near. Uh, so our true freshmen, our true freshman and our quarterback and receiver getting involved there. Parrish, the true freshman. I, got, I don't even remember what his first name is. We don't throw we don't throw the ball that much still, and I, I forgot what his first name is. But he makes that catch, gets beat or beats the defense, and we're feeling good now. We've got all the momentum. We're up ten to nothing. Our defense is playing well. 
Evans coming in on special teams for another tackle. So, yeah, plus five momentum, first and ten. We're, there's no reason for us to get conservative here. They're actually in shotgun, so we're going we're gonna to call one cover three play here. Uh, I, I saw their formation. They end up running again. They're fullback, man. I don't, I don't know if that's a running back, but he's good. He's like, he picks up the first down all, right away. So after that, we're not playing, uh, we're not playing zone anymore unless we need to. We're going back to this uh, Thunder Green Blitz. We're gonna spy Atkins just in case the quarterback takes off. We're gonna man up here. Their impact, their running back is in the zone. So if they, they do option here, look at the spy. Works perfectly. I overrun it, unfortunately, but then I big hit the guy with Gilmore to make up for it. Um, that one was that one was a little bit of a bad user. I just kind of I was too aggressive. I came in on a bad angle, tried to make a diving tackle, but was not successful. But fortunately, we had more help from our other safety, from our free safety. And look at this, Thomas Robinson again, man. Thomas Robinson has been all over the field. He doesn't get credit for anything there. I don't think that goes down as a tackle, but. I mean, if anything, it lets their quarterback know that we're not messing around this season. Um, I mean, I know we beat them last year, but they, they finished the season. I think they finished the season ranked higher than us last year because we lost their bowl game and they won their bowl game. So, I mean, this this rivalry, Georgia Southern versus uh, – oh, Whitehead, the true freshman. Michael Whitehead making his first big play of the season. I can't remember if he picked off one in the first game. He might have, but – this time, man coverage works. Look at the awareness. I mean, we we actually got a lot of pressure. Somebody blew up their O-line. Michael Whitehead, we are getting breaks right now. And, I again, I when I'm playing so well like this, I want to show you guys that I'm still on Heisman because I, I feel like this, this doesn't happen very much. Like you, I mean, I know I'm capable of blowing out teams or playing really well. I mean, obviously, it's only 10 nothing. It's not a blowout. But... You know, I, I want to make sure <laughs> I'm on Heisman. It's it's and sliders are even. Uh, here we got space on the outside. This is the first time we've had a lot of space, and this is what happens. McIntyre throws 24 on the ground again. He's having a terrible game. Uh, we'll have to like send him a, some flowers or a gift or something for how many times he's getting abused in this game. <laughs> anyway. They are not having much success stopping us right now. We're on a roll. We got all the momentum. We're going triple option the other way with Washington. They get an early jump. I think they get back, but we go up the middle, pick up some good yards there with my with McIntyre. Second and five now, getting close to the red zone. You can see McIntyre is flashing. We're gonna hand it up, hand it off. We're gonna look to go up the middle here if we can. Uh, they are in nickel. Which is kind of weird. I don't know why teams run nickel and dime against this. We're not, you know. I mean, we do run that spread, though. We do have the spread, so I guess it makes sense. But this one, you can see, we find the hole, break a tackle, bounce outside. And, oh, if we could have scored there, that would have been such a fantastic run. Man. It was a great run already. But if he could have scored there, that would have been fantastic. That would have been a highlight. Uh, now we're running no huddle just to try to catch him off guard. We snap it right away. McIntyre is going to take it himself into the end zone. And look at this game, man. We're not messing around for this one. We've got all the momentum. We're going to go up 17-0. Look at the O-line. Look at our tight ends. And that's our sixth O-lineman there playing tight end with that push. So we are playing very well. Things are looking good. Our defense is making stops. we got a pick. we got a turnover. Things are looking good, guys. Georgia Southern, they just may, they may, just, they may not have it in them. They may not have it in them to beat us. I mean, we're looking too good. But obviously, you know, we, there's still a lot of game left. There's two minutes, 47 seconds in the first half. We did kick, so we get, we get the ball to start the second half. But, you know, we can't. We, we could easily give up a touchdown, and they could be right back in the game. So we still got to play defense. We still have to play defense. They're coming out three wide, which is most likely their shotgun set. We're outgaining them. They, they actually have the time of possession right now, but... We are out gaining them. They direct snap it to Johnson. Look at Thomas Robinson all over the field, man. We are playing very, very great on defense. Their line has not been able to stop our linebackers when we blitz them along with our – our D-line's playing well, man. I will say that. Our D-line is doing exactly what we need them to do, take up space, take up two blockers if possible. 
and free up those linebackers on a blitz. They call the same play. This time, Ishmael Anderson, I give credit to him to make that play. He was the first one to get a hand on him. And again, no gain. So third and long already. And we're, I mean, we have a chance to get the ball back if we stop them here. Uh, we're trying to figure out what to call. Um, you can see we're trying our new formation here. We haven't run this a whole lot. 3-3-5 three, three, stack. We're calling the middle linebacker spy with Atkins this time. Uh, and we're just going to play. It's, it's basically a cover two. I mean, it's cover two MLB spy. So we're going to kind of help deep. Uh, you can see we're lined up about 15 yards beyond the line of scrimmage. They throw the flat. It's open, but he runs out of bounds. So we'll take that all day. Gain of five yards. It's fourth down. They got to punt again. So defense. Our defense is playing really well, guys. I'm very proud of the defense. They're still young. We're all sophomores almost. We got one senior in Robinson and then a few more freshmen on the team that are playing. Michael White, we're going to actually try to return this a little bit. We pick up some yards. I just I don't love returning the punts unless we have a clear, you know, a clear, um, you know, clear space in front of us because I just feel like I feel like there's a better chance we'll fumble than get a touchdown. So I'd rather make I'd rather get these yards on offense and we're doing well so far. Coming back out with the Flexbone Twins on the left side. They're in man coverage, which I love. They jump this time. They jump again, and we're going to take it. We're going to take it with Townsend all the way. 24 is going to hit him lay out of bounds just to try to do something. 24 is having a bad game. He is not having a great game. But you know what? We all have those days. It happens. They may have to get him out of here, though. <laughs> The penalty was for offsides. We don't need it. We picked up a first down, and we're already inside the 50-yard line. So, going flex bone tight here. I, I mean, their defense is still – they're pretty solid on defense. You can see it right there, man. They made a play that time. We, we've been pretty fortunate. We've been able to move the ball very well. Uh, obviously, we had that big touchdown pass, but the drive right before it was all McIntyre on the ground on that big run up the middle. And now he's in the zone again, so you know we gotta give it to him. We have to give it to McIntyre when he's in the zone. Uh, but this time they jump off sides completely. They blow the whistle because they made contact. So we'll take it, that makes it second and three. Uh, McIntyre's still gonna be in the zone, so we'll call the same play. And we're, we pay, we're paying attention to the clock. Uh, it's running, it's second and three right now, but we're on 35, we've still got plenty of time and we have timeouts, so no worries there. Uh, they hand it off. I mean, we go up up the middle. They kind of blitz on the edge, and we find the hole. McIntyre, look at those career numbers. Those career numbers are fantastic for, for what, two seasons plus two and a half games now. Uh, so here, we're going to try this formation. We're going to mix it up a little bit. We got Roberts in the game now at quarterback. Uh, this is just... Q, or a zone read. I think I think I called zone read. I don't know if it's QB choice or zone read. I can't remember. But we're going to hand it off. McIntyre's got the left side. Nowhere to go on that one. Uh, you can see we tried to switch ball hands. We tried to switch ball hands and stiff arm. But we still got two timeouts, so we're good. No worries. Worst case, I mean, well, we just don't want to turn it over. We can kick a field goal here, and it'll be fine. This time we we I tried to go up the middle there, but they just rushed in on the edge and got to us. So it wasn't really a bad read. I don't think the I don't think keeping it would have been any better. Uh, but now that it's third and nine, we're thinking about being pretty conservative here because McIntyre is in the zone. So we're actually just gonna run this ball. We're gonna go halfback sting on third and nine. We've been running it efficiently all game. They may not expect it here, so we're going to try to run left edge. We're going to get that impact corner out of there. And look at the hole, man. Look at our offensive line. McIntyre breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, gets inside the five-yard line. That play worked beautifully. Our O-line is playing a fantastic game. Uh, now it's first and goal. We go no huddle here. McIntyre's in the zone again. They blow up our line this time, but he ends up falling forward. Doesn't get a gain, so we call our final timeout here. With second and goal, we just can't take a sack. That's basically all it comes down to. We cannot take a sack. So we're gonna go in our. Uh, we're gonna try to figure out what we want to call here. We've got plenty of time. You see, when you call a timeout, you get. Uh, I think you get like a full hundred seconds to select a play. Uh, so we're gonna go here. Look at their defense. 
They audible out, but it's not. They're not covering anybody. Choice is wide, wide open over there. But the only problem is, I know they're going to have somebody go out. We're looking for Washington. It's covered, but we just outrun the defense. Roberts has too much speed. That's kind of like a quarter. That's kind of like a quarterback sweep option almost. Like we, we manually roll out with the option to pass it if, if that safety comes down and stops. Uh, or that might. I think that was a linebacker. If the linebacker came down and tried to make a play on Roberts, we, we could have lobbed that over and hit, hit McIntyre in the end zone. But they didn't stay with us, so we just ran it in. And we're blowing this one out in the first half, guys. We're playing excellent. They destroy our kicker for no reason. Uh, but he's fine. He hops back up. <laughs> so this is interesting. This is – they call roughing the kicker here. So we get to kick off from the 50. What, I mean, with five seconds left, what do we do here? I mean, we're trying we, – I actually think about it for a minute. And, guys, in case – if you missed it again, I'm, I'm going to re repeat myself. This is a voiceover. So look at this. We're going to kick it high. We're going to kick it high and just see what happens. I want to see if we can, like, get them to maybe fumble – because uh, look how quick we're already down here, man. We're already down here. They get it at the 15, but there's three. There's only three seconds, so they'll probably just take a knee, or I don't know if the CPU ever takes a knee. They'll probably run a play here, but I don't think it'll be a pass. So we are just playing fantastic football right now. Uh, as long as we don't give up an 85-yard touchdown, 24 to nothing going into halftime. Johnson up the middle. Nicholas makes the tackle. That's the end of the half, guys. What a what a solid first half. Very balanced performance all around. Uh, we haven't turned it over on offense. We've been efficient. We've only punted one time, I think. And if we check the stats and scores here, we're completely outgaining them. 229 to 84. And it's because I know how to stop this offense. I'm not scared of the Georgia Southern offense. Now, I know they can easily get rolling. Like, if we couldn't move the ball on offense, and if they picked up one touchdown and had momentum on defense, that may be a different story. But we have we had momentum pretty much that whole second quarter. And we even got 79 passing yards on, a, on that deep pass that we hit uh, with Parrish. Uh, you see Roberts, 3-for-3 three for, three for 79 yards. Extremely efficient. Uh, we tried to throw one with Hayes. He's 0-for-1. McIntyre, great game so far. Just two yards shy of 100. Uh, Marcelo Washington, we haven't really been able to get going with him yet, but he's in that role where we're going up the middle a lot with Marcelo. We're not hitting the not hitting the edges as much. Jason Parrish, that's his first name. Jason Parrish, Parrish, excuse me. Uh, four pancakes, and look at Thomas Robinson. Four tackles, all four tackles for a loss. Ishmael Anderson, one tackle for a loss. He's he's been everywhere. Doesn't have the stat sheet. Uh, Corey Cole, Gerald Atkins. So we have seven tackles for a loss in that first half. That's incredible. And then Michael Whitehead with the pick. So a pretty great first half, guys. We do. Uh, Gerald Atkins goes gets credit for a first fumble, but we didn't pick it up. So going into the second half, guys. This one we're pretty. We have a pretty comfortable lead. It's really with the way their offense runs, they're gonna run the ball a lot. So they're gonna drain the clock even if they do even if they do score or unless they get like just a really big play. Uh, but you see, this is an important drive. So we get the ball to start the second half. At this point, I'm thinking, you know, we just need to run clock. We just need to run the ball. Not, we need to not do anything stupid. Let's drain the clock out and see if we can pick up some more first downs. So you see this defense are coming in. Two down linemen. Well, no, no, they do have three down linemen. No, they have four down linemen. What are they in here? I'm not even sure what defense they were in there. It kind of looks like the 4-6. I don't even know, like what that formation is in the play calling screen but uh whatever it whatever it was it worked for them i think it, i don't know man people watching this you probably know more than i do what is that formation now uh, sometimes they'll only have two linemen on the ground and you'll see this later on in the dynasty i catch on or later on this season at least trying to get marcelo going not much there so this is a pretty big third down i mean i know we're up 24 nothing but you know, if they get a stop here and then score a touchdown, they might get some momentum. So we're thinking, you know, we're going to go Wildcat. We're thinking, why not? We need to try it. But I'm also thinking, let's play safe. We're This is too this is too much of an important game. We, we need to go with the hot hand. Roberts is 3-for-3 three for, three for 79 yards, and he's got a rushing touchdown. He's playing a great game so far. 
So we've got options on display. We can also scramble if nothing's there. Um, they come out. Uh, nobody really open there in that zone. We're going to take off. We're going to take off and look at the speed. Roberts, just enough speed to pick that up. Marcelo ended up streaking after he ran his route, and that kind of drew the defense back. So a nice, nice play there. Roberts, 85 speed. That's why that works. So now we have both running backs in the zone. We're coming out of the huddle calling a pass, but we're going to audible. We're going to audible into double option. And you can see they are in zone defense for this one. We're trying to get Marcelo going. He breaks a couple tackles. And see, we're, we're still trying to get him going up the middle. He gets three yards on this one. Uh, we're going to go no huddle here. It's going to bring us back to that pass we originally called. But look at this. Now we're going to audible. We're going to go under center, triple option. And this time, we tried to get up the middle with McIntyre. Their defensive line actually did pretty well to hold that. I thought maybe we could hit a gap there. Uh, third and six. And you can see me here. Guys, we're going to try it. We are going to try it. Now, this is probably not the team to try this against. Because they have a lot of speed on defense. They're pretty good. But what, I mean, they got, we actually get an early jump. Look at this. And we throw it. Oh, and it's not, it's almost there. We kind of rushed it. We kind of rushed it. That's going to be one of my, that's going to be one of my favorite plays to run, to run. It's the wide receiver option pass with our four-star athlete that has throw power. Um, and pretty decent throw power. He's actually just as good as Townsend, if not better. I think he actually might have better throw accuracy. I'm not, I can't remember exactly what the numbers are. But now that it's third and one, they jumped off sides, fortunately. So we're going to just run this. We're going to look to go up the middle if we have a hole. They Look at this, man. They completely stack it. Townsend just drops the ball. I didn't even pitch that. And so that's unfortunate. That's their defense finally making a play. I mean, they have a good defense. Their defensive line is, is pretty good. And they finally make a play there, so we do have to punt. But fortunately, we picked up at least – I think we picked up one first down, so the clock – is going to go to, we're going to get about two and a half minutes off the clock here. He punts it. And Whitehead with that speed's coming down. I, I stupidly, I don't know what I did there. I ran into him. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I had too much speed. I couldn't stop. Somehow they get 16 yards on that penalty. I don't know if you guys caught that. They could decline and get the ball at the 20 yard line, or they could accept and get the ball at the 36 yard line. So that was kind of weird. But here, here we go. So, I mean, third quarter, five and a half minutes. There's still time. They could come back. I mean, there is still time. So we got to be careful here on defense. We're calling the zone just in case they come out passing. They don't. They do the uh, – I don't even know if that's just the QB choice play or the double option play where they the quarterback keeps it. But either way, it doesn't matter. Second and ten, they get no gain. Maybe a, they may gain like a foot because it looks like it, the ball's in a different spot, a little farther past the 36. So, again, in the shotgun, they hand it off to the fullback, who's been pretty efficient, but Corey Cole's there, ready for the tackle. Only gain of three yards. So, again, our defense is playing well. I know how to stop them. On this play... I'm gonna spy. I'm spying with Robinson on this play, and we're just gonna we're gonna watch that quarterback run. I mean, I think they're gonna pass here, but we're gonna watch the QB run, and it's a speed option. And look at him pitch it, man. He pitched it like he had the first down, and that's that's a play we do sometimes, and I end up fumbling it. But there they go. I mean, again, we know how to stop them, but their quarterback is so quick. I mean, he can make plays like that. And that's why Georgia Southern is so good. Um, that's why they've, they've been so good in this dynasty so far. They've got a really good quarterback, even though I'm pretty sure he's only 5'6". I literally, I think he's only 5'6". I'd have to check on that again. But they run this play again. I make a good play, but I get destroyed by their O-linemen. But fortunately... Fortunately, that was a pretty good play there because we kind of held their quarterback up and it was only a gain of four yards, even though we didn't make the tackle and we got thrown on our back. So, again, things are going pretty well. Look at them use the clock. And, you know, I'll get into this later on in this game. Maybe we'll talk a little more about my decision-making for this dynasty and, like, why I set it up certain ways. 
Uh, up the middle, play by the defensive end on uh, Dennis Johnson there. Third and three, so this is a big third down. I mean, they may go for it if they don't get this. So, I mean, there's no reason to play this conservatively. They're three for seven right now, so they're not that bad. We're calling Thunder Green. We're actually going to spy with Atkins because I want him to watch the quarterback and just kind of hold on the first down marker. They run this again. Look at it. We're there. I outrun it. So he cuts back, and Atkins is right there. That's perfect play by Gerald Atkins. A beautiful play. He read it perfectly. He was right there to make the stop. And they're actually they're calling punt here. I don't believe it. I don't believe they're going to punt. So I'm calling uh, I'm calling standard coverage here. I'll run back and field it with Edwards if they actually do punt it. But a little, I mean, I don't know, man. Three minutes in the third quarter, down 24 to nothing. I feel like you have to go for it. But they punt it. Their coach is conservative. I don't even make a – I actually <laughs> I make a dangerous play there. I run up to catch the ball, but it gets on the 10-yard line, so we're all good. So, anyway, so I guess now, um, again, this is a voiceover, guys. So we're just pretty much watching the game play together. Um, we're just running this up the middle with McIntyre. We're, we're at, I'm at the point now. Like, look at our O-line. They're playing pretty well. I'm at the point now where I'm thinking if we can just pick up some more first downs, then the game might be over. Uh, McIntyre gets 100 yards on the game. So, I mean, you see that clock running. Uh, now, I will say, I set, uh, there's, you know, I, I've seen, like, you can set the game clock to whatever you want. Whatever you prefer is fine. Uh, I mean, I played plenty of dynasties when I first got this, when I first started playing, when I was younger especially. I played plenty on five-minute quarters. And look at that. Look at that beautiful read there. They take out McIntyre. We have Hayes, and then we throw a bad pass. That's a really bad pass. I tried to lob it, but I ended up throwing it on the run. That should, that probably could have easily been picked, but I think the, the corner didn't even know what he was doing there. Um, so that was kind of a... Kind of a risky one. We kind of hold our breath there for a second. But uh, anyway, game's not over, so I probably shouldn't get distracted to, with you guys right now. But, uh, I mean, if you are watching this at the moment, we do double option, and we can't pitch it. They get We uh, get big hit, but we got them to jump. They didn't get back in time. But it's third and short, so we still got to pick this up. Third and inches. Um, we're going to go with our flex bone tight formation. We've got, we can go up the middle with Washington. We can swing it around. You see them bring in, they're bringing that left safety down with the right safety stays there. And they actually, nobody's even lined up over the guard. So we're going to go up the middle. Marcelo, we just end up bouncing it out. Let's kind of make a play there. Uh, 24 finally actually makes the tackle. That's probably the first thing he's done all game. But yeah, what I was saying, like with the, with the clock, the reason I have it on eight minute quarters is because I like taking my time on offense. Um, I, I don't love rushing my play calls. I don't like rushing the snap. Uh, and in this game particularly, you really need to time your snaps. That's why you see me like when the screen goes like this, I'm just doing a snap count. Because if you don't do that, they're gonna the defense is gonna get great jumps all the time. If you just snap it right when you line up to the ball. So, and the reason why I have it on eight minute quarters is because I just think that's, I, I like eight minute quarters because I like, I like having a game last 32 minutes. I think that's, um, I think that's a perfect amount of time. I mean, anything more than eight minutes would be really, really long. And also what I've noticed is that, I mean, you could, you could get away with seven minute quarters. You really could. And you can see me, I'm trying to run left away from the defense here. I end up going right into their impact guy. Um, but yeah, I mean, seven minute quarters, you can do that. That's also good. I mean, I could see six minute quarters isn't bad either. It makes the games really quick, uh, is the only thing. But eight minute quarters, I think for me personally, it, it matches the stats that all these other teams have. Like, it's really pretty even. And here we go, guys. We're running Wildcat. We're trying the option pass. Let's see what we can do here. Paul Hayes, our athlete quarterback. We get this pass off, and it's a bad pass. That's a bad pass. He's, a, he's not had a great game yet. He's still young. He's a freshman, true freshman. But you can see the potential is there, guys. The potential is there. And I promise you, y'all just wait and see. It's going to be a fun season. Like I said, I've recorded pretty far ahead, but don't let that, you know, discourage you. Uh, I have plans for season four, guys. Um, that's the reason why I wanted to get to, I wanted to get through season three so quick because I don't want to just mix up things in the middle of the season. But uh, this is probably a good time. Either this game or the next game is probably a good time to maybe talk about that. So anybody, if there is anybody listening right now, 
and you know it's on YouTube you can skip around you know look at them actually get some plays here um, if anybody's listening right now what would you guys want to see like I, I'm thinking about streaming I really am I'm thinking about streaming season four uh, and I want to wait till I start a new season because I don't want to just start streaming in the middle you know in the middle of season three or anything but I'm kind of thinking about streaming season four uh, I, I've actually got a pretty good schedule right now um, and I think it could work and then obviously if I do stream I would still upload the videos to YouTube so anybody that can't watch you know I mean obviously I'm not expecting anybody to like watch every single game on a stream but you know if you're if you're there at the moment that I'm recording then yeah I mean hop on check it out I mean I may get you know I may open up a whole new audience on Twitch or on uh, you know just streaming live on YouTube but I'm trying to decide. I just don't know what to do. I'm not sure because I, I really like playing this dynasty. It's been really fun. Um, they're actually starting to move the ball a little bit on me. So we're. I mean, we're still good though. It's gonna go to the fourth quarter. No, no change in the third. Twenty-four nothing still. But yeah, what do you guys think? If you know, if you're if you're watching this right now, and if you can comment on YouTube, and if you're hearing this, obviously, let me know, man. Do you think I should stream season four? And if I stream season four, I'm still going to upload the videos to YouTube. So there's not going to be like, you're not just going to miss out if you don't watch on stream. Um, you know, it'll be the same. It'll be the same thing. And, you know, obviously there's 12 games in the regular season. So I'll just stream every one of them. Uh, but what do y'all think? Yeah, just let me know if you're, if you're watching this now. What do you think about se uh, seasons for streaming? So that's that's the question. That's the question up in the air right now. And I may put that in the I may put that in the description of the video. Or I may comment, and that way, if anybody wants to reply, they can. It might be easier. So anyway, this game has turned out to be a really good game for us. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of offense, but we haven't needed to. I mean, our defense has played well. We're pitching a shutout right now. Uh, but you see, they're finally in the red zone, so they're actually moving the ball a little bit. Uh, and we're playing conservative on this one, going cover three. And they're doing the speed, triple option. Guys making moves. That's their backup running back. That's their true freshman, I think. I think Moss is a true freshman running back. Or maybe a sophomore. I don't remember. But he, he's very good. Once they're – I can't remember. I don't know if he's a sophomore or a true freshman. But he, I think he was at least a four or five star. Um, so they, they've got some promise. I mean, they're going to have talent coming up. They had a really good recruiting class last season. They shipped on their defensive front. Now they hand it out to Johnson. He hits the hole, gets the first down. So, I mean, the game's not over. I mean, we're up 24 to nothing. It's it's They're in the fourth quarter now, so time is running out. But, they, I mean, if they score a touchdown here, our momentum's kind of disappeared a little bit in this third quarter. Uh, now it's the fourth, of course. But, I mean, we haven't done much on offense in the third quarter, and they have a chance to score here. There they go, the double option left side. I don't know who to go after, and I force a fumble. I, I play that one perfectly. He throws the pitch off me. We get the red zone turnover. Momentum's back up, plus two, and I, we're feeling good now, guys. We are feeling great. That was a huge play. Like I said, I mean, we were up 24 to nothing. If they score there, they would probably go for two, and it could potentially be a two-score game. But, I mean, we were feeling pretty good regardless. Now I'm feeling great. Back on offense, and look at this play. We've got all the space in the world. 24, actually making, he's like kind of woke up, I guess. He made a tackle on that one, but we still pick up the first down. So, again, right now, I'm thinking to my, I'm thinking at this point right now that the game, if I just pick up a couple more first downs, this, this one's over. Uh, we're dead even on plays, but we have 105 more yards. Time of possession is about the same. So, I mean, you see how equally matched these teams are. I mean, we're really very equally matched, but our defense has stepped up and we've made when we've hit just enough big plays on offense. That's the difference in the game. We've gotten two turnovers now, and we hit the big pass play for a touchdown. And and we're just we're just making more consistent plays than they are. And I mean it's really the defense. Honestly, it's the defense that has stepped up. Because we, we have so many tackles for loss. Um, second and six now. We're, we're running the clock down at this point. We're snapping it under 10 seconds. Marcelo picks up a block. 24 goes back to Whiffin on tackles. Another first down for McIntyre. And again, McIntyre's in the zone. So when he's in the zone, what do we do? We hand it, we hand it right to him. 
try to run up the middle if we can. We'll hit a hole or swing it to the outside if that also opens up. But, I mean, I, this Georgia Southern is going to be tough, man, because they've got a lot of guys coming back. They have a lot of juniors on the team. I, and I noticed that when I was looking over their roster the other day. They have, look at this run by McIntyre. Another first down. He's taken over. Fourth quarter, put him in the game, and you're in good hands. But, yeah, Georgia Southern. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. We play Georgia Southern on the road next season. And I'm a little, I mean, to be honest, not to look ahead, but, I mean, they, they're returning their quarterback, who's probably going to be over, he's probably going to be over 90 overall. They return their, they have a really good running back returning. They've got great receivers if they decide to throw it. There's, the, there's Hayes getting the ball now. Um, their defensive end, who was one of their best players, I think he's only a junior as well, so he's coming back. Um, I mean, they've got talent. They've got a lot of talent on the team. They've, they've had great recruiting classes so far in this dynasty. And here's this defense. Is this 4-6? Because I don't see this much in this game, but I think it's 4-6. There's two down linemen and then two kind of lined up like linebackers, I guess. I really don't even know, man. I guess it's 4-6, but Marcelo doesn't – it doesn't matter to Marcelo. Look at him making a play. He's knocked out of bounds. Marcelo Washington, the, the future of the Citadel rushing attack. That little juke. Again, 42. Where are you, man? I mean, not 42. Excuse me. Number 24. He has not had a good game. So we're, we're pretty much rolling now, guys. I mean, we're in the red zone. We can take our time here. Uh, we're putting in... Um, we're putting, we're taking Marcelo out for a play, putting in Hayes and uh, McIntyre. And we're gonna see, you know, we're gonna see if we can get Hayes a touchdown. They're in man coverage over there. If we can just pick up a block by our tight end, we'll see what happens here. And look at this, we got space. We do have space. It's a chance. Townsend pitches Hayes. Can't break a tackle, but he picks up the first down. That's a good run. Townsend's hurt, and again, this is why we now have depth at quarterback. Fortunately. We have depth here. Leg injuries, I never know with leg injuries, man. That could really be anything. So we're going to get the report on that hopefully pretty soon. We'll check that one out. Uh, Townsend is tough, man. He's been hurt a lot. Uh, he was hurt a lot the first season. Not as, not as much last season, a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, game three into the season, he's going down with a leg injury. So we'll check that out. Uh, Robert's going to take the snaps, but we got McIntyre to hand the ball off to. That guy pushes our O-lineman down, but it doesn't matter. McIntyre taking over. That's another touchdown. This game's now over, guys. It's 30 to nothing. We're going to kick the extra point. Look at this. We just wave at him. We, we stiff arm, but he doesn't even get close to us, so we basically just like wave while running into the end zone. So, yeah, this one is uh, pretty well done. 31 to nothing. Can we pitch a shutout? Is that possible to hold the 15th ranked team to, to zero points? We have played a. This is one. This is probably the best game of the dynasty we've played so far. Uh, it's it's been. I mean, we played well against Furman, like the the conference champion championship last season. We played really well against Furman, but they they were a little slight. They were a little less. I mean, they were lower rated than us just by a little bit. This team's actually higher rated than us. They're a B minus on offense. We're a C on offense. Um, we're going, we're taking out our subs, man. We're taking out, we, I mean, we're putting in subs against the number 16 team in the nation or 15 team, excuse me. So, I mean, I just feel like we already just, we just saw Townsend get hurt. So I'd rather put in our backups and not have anybody else get hurt. We do have Edwards in the game still because we only have four safeties and now this guy gets hurt, man. Look what happens. So now Kyle James, their, their starting quarterbacks hurt. Let's hope this guy can get back into the game. We'll, we'll have to check the injuries on that. I don't remember on his. I also don't remember on Townsend's. But obviously, if, if we see the injury report, you'll got, you guys will see it. But if not, I'll let you know what it is. Second down. But now their quarterback's out, so they got to go with their backup, who I don't think is a scrambler. They'll line up in the I think their third string is, but this guy's not. So they hand it off to whoever that is. That's not even the same fullback they had before. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make So we're now under four minutes to go in this one, guys. If you're still watching, we are pretty much controlled the whole game. Uh, and feel free to skip to the end. Like, if you want to skip to the end, 
Kyle James out for one week. That's that's technically just being out for the game. So he'll be back next week. Um, and you you can see, I think I'm actually going to look at this real quick. Uh, Townsend's fine. So he, he doesn't even, his injury report didn't even show up. He's probably, he was probably back after a couple plays. Well, this guy's going to throw it. We get a big hit with our corner. And now somebody else is injured. I don't even know who that is. Danny Roberts. I think that's a wide receiver. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, Danny Roberts. I guess that was the guy we threw it to. Look at this, man. This is our fourth string corner, and look at this hit. Boom. Set him down. He uh, kind of took him out right there. I mean, literally, he left with an injury. So our fourth string corner coming up making some big hits. That's good to see. We actually have a little more depth on defense this year. Going with the shotgun here. On the delay. There's Evans. There's number one, our promising freshman linebacker. Bernard Evans with the dark visor. One thing I do notice, um, that's my controller. You can see my controller still get, getting disconnected. Um, I don't even know if I noticed this in the game, but do you see who's lined up at safety on the opposite side of Edwards? It's the guy with the armbands and the wristbands. That's our quarterback. <laughs> That is our quarterback, Roberts, number 10. And I didn't—I don't even know if I realized it until – I think I realized it in one game. I know that. But uh, we just don't have any depth at safety. We have no—we only have four safeties on the team. So when you do mass subs, it doesn't work because we're running 3-3-5. He gets it off. Calls for the fair catch. So yeah, guys, feel free to skip to the end. I may, I may go through the rest of this game. I'm not sure. There's really, I just hit my desk. I'm sorry. That's probably gonna be loud on the microphone. But uh, how far are we now? We got about mm, 14, 14 minutes left. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it to the end, guys. Um, I'm gonna cut the audio here. We're just gonna let it play. And I will ca I'll catch you guys at the end of the game for the recap. So if you all if you end up simulate or uh, this guy's only out for a week too. So if you end up forwarding to the end of the game, uh, I may catch you guys back here and we'll talk about uh, the stats and everything. So this one is pretty much over. I will say though, I'm pretty sure. So if you want to watch the rest of the game, feel free to. But I am pretty sure they score. If I remember correctly, they do score, so we don't pitch the shutout. I just don't know what happens. I don't know if we fumble it or we'll just I mean there's only two minutes left. We'll stay with it. I don't remember if I fumble or what happens, but they do I'm pretty sure they do score, so we'll just stay with it here. Again, this is a voiceover. It's already been recorded. It's a little fun. Yeah, look at this. They're they're making plays right now against our backups. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. So third and eleven. I mean, the clock's still running, so we're just you know, there's no point in passing it here. The Citadel lines up in a pro set. Look at this. We got a lot of space. Hayes almost picked that up. That's a gain of 10, 11 yards. And Georgia Southern calling timeout. So I think they just get the ball back, and they I think they might score on this drive. I'm not 100% sure. I think they do. But, yeah, we're, we're going to take it to the end here, guys. I'll, reach, I'll catch you right back here once the game's over. So, you guys, if you're still watching, feel free to skip to the end. Unless you just want to see this last drive here. Johnson takes it at the 23. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. It's second down. Ball on the 25-yard line. The 
Citadel just took their first time out. They'll line up at the 25. Second and nine coming up here. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Evans tackles it for a loss on the play. Looks like there's an injured player on the field. I didn't see what happened on the play, but you can only hope that this guy is able to shake it off and get back into the game. Third they line up 12. at the 22. Ball the 22. Third down. They shift on the defensive line. Back to back. Steps up in the pocket. He sails it long. It's tipped. And he got it. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. <laughs> yeah, did you guys see this play? If you are still watching, that's how they scored. Most, that's just a ridiculous play right there. I, I, I timed that so bad. It was a wobbly, off-balance throw, and I just got myself in bad position. So that's how they score. Uh, don't pitch the shutout. 31-7 to is going to be the final in this one. It was a great game, though. We played, I mean, other than that play, I mean, we played fantastically on defense. So that's how they scored. If you're all are watching right now, I'm still here. <laughs> but it was a good game. I'm proud of our team. We're looking good for season three. And right here, you can see how good this guy is, man. He's got he's plus five on tackle, but he's a true freshman with 89 tackles, six five. 235, something like that. He, he is – I'm excited for Bernard Evans. I mean, he's a true freshman. we got three good linebackers on the team right now, but Thomas Robinson is a senior. He'll take his place, and I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be really exciting. Here it goes. So we recover onside kick. This one's pretty much over, guys. We'll get to the end here, and then I'll get you the wrap-up. And right now we're basically just putting in our kneel-down specialist. Michael Birch, the senior, got to get him some reps. And this game is going to be over. The start at the 49. We'll start the drive at the 49-yard line. First and 10. Also, apparently their backup quarterback got hurt as well. So they were on that was their third string quarterback that threw that touchdown pass. And again, that's the second that's the second game in a row that a third string quarterback has come in and gotten a touchdown against me. So that's the only thing <laughs> That's really the only thing that's happened. We played well the last two games. Or, well, the first three games we played pretty well this season. So, yeah, that's going to do it. 31-7 um, to 7 is the final. I was really impressed with our defense. Um, I mean, I knew – I feel like we knew how to stop them. It was just a matter of could we actually stop their offense. Could we, could we actually stop the triple option? Could we stop their quarterback from scrambling? And you can tell just our defense is very balanced, and we played really well. And we, didn't let, we did not let them beat us through the air except for that touchdown at the very end. Uh, it was a great game. McIntyre, fantastic game. Our offense played great. And we're going to go 3-0 and with a 1-0 and conference record. And this is a big one. I mean, Georgia Southern, I mean, they're rated higher than us. And they're, I mean, they're a good team, man. So this was definitely a good win. We're going to take a look here just at all the stats. Uh, you can see offense, I mean, again, pretty well. 339 on offense, 260 rushing, 79 passing. Uh, they got that big touchdown pass at the end, so they ended up with 123 passing yards. One, uh, 0 for 1 in the red zone for them. We forced two turnovers, that fumble in the red zone, and the pick by Whitehead. Uh, no turnovers for us, so a clean game. Uh, it's good to see. NCA 07, it's possible, man. It's possible to play this game without any turnovers. It is possible. That's multiple times I've done it now. Uh, running, the, running, running this offense, running the triple option offense. That's, I mean, that's a, that's a thing, too. Um, so, I mean, McIntyre had a great game. Roberts had a touchdown run, and he had a touchdown pass to Jason Parrish in the first half. Just a complete blown coverage on their end. We saw it. We had good vision on that one. A lot of pancakes. Uh, Corey Cole. Thomas Robinson still with those four tackles for a loss. Gerald Atkins with two. Great game by our linebackers, man. They're the leaders of our defense. Bernard Evans had one tackle for a loss as well. 
he had four tackles in the few minutes he was out there. Uh, Whitehead with the pick. We had two forced fumbles. Uh, Ishmael Anderson with a forced fumble. I don't even think the one we re the one we recovered. I don't even know if I guess that was. I don't even know how that works. I don't know if that was Ishmael that forced that or I thought I did. But uh, look at this guy, man. Look at this QB rating. Did y'all see that? A thousand eighty-five. <laughs> We held them very well, though. I don't really look at the other team's stats all that often, but that we held them pretty well. So, really great game. They had some injuries, but fortunately, they were only for the the remainder of the game. Um, so, yeah. Week, first week, uh, first game of the conference, we're 1-0. and And now, we've got a revenge game, guys. We've got a revenge game against the Demons. The team that knocked us off last year prevented us from making a run for the title. We got them at, we scheduled a home game. We're going to get the home and home series with them this year. And they're actually 0 and 3, so they're struggling. They're 0 and 3 right now, but that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean they can come in and knock us off again. So you guys want to stay tuned for that one. Uh week 4, that'll be the final game that I do a voiceover. Um all the other games are I planning and some of them have already been played. All the other games I'm doing you know, live commentary, so it's going to be pretty interesting. Um it's gonna get. It is going to get interesting, guys. I'm not trying to hype you all up and let you down, but it is gonna get really interesting coming up here soon. Uh, there's gonna be there's gonna be some good games. So, look at McIntyre on the cover, talking Heisman. Citadel's offense depends heavily on the legs of McIntyre. Yeah, it does. Albert King. So we moved up with this guy headed Toledo. He likes us now. Uh, probably loved that game against McIntyre. Give me one second. My phone is ringing, and I don't even know where it is. So I'm going to cut this audio off real quick. We're going to get into the next game, guys. We'll see you then. Peace.